Hello friends, this is a spiritual counselor. I want to appreciate everyone who have decided to support what we do here. There are many persons who out of their own magnanimity extend gratitude, they extend charity towards what we do in appreciation financially in gift in tokens i want to say a very big thank you and if this is your first time i'd like you to also subscribe to what we do here to follow some of the discourse that we've been having we have started the series about how to tap into the spiritual element connected to our bloodline we had started with the spiritual element of water and i'd said that there are many persons wherein their problem is not by virtue of their village people their problem is a reflection of the violation of the element. And significantly, these episodes or this series we have begun is essentially to reconnect us with the positive side of where we come from. I told us about the scripture in Zechariah chapter 9 verse number 2 of the Bible said that return back to your stronghold and I will double your prosperity. There is a sense at which we have to go back to the origin of our authority. There, I've said it several years. There are many persons wherein in the quest for looking for solutions in their life, many persons have complicated the sequence, have complicated their stars. In the desire, in the quest for looking for solution, you, are, you had one problem. But in the discourse, in the, in, the, in the journey to looking for solution, you've realized that suddenly your problems have multiplied, your problems have transcended. You can't even tell, maybe before you used to even see 50 cobalt, 25 cents and 35, but suddenly everything, you, when you went to that prayer, things were still a little bit better. But suddenly everything have gone. Perhaps that which they did for you was a violation, a violation. I did a consultation for a lady wherein she, I, I, I did a check and, and I asked her, I said, did you go to anywhere for them to do anything for you connected to water? She said, yes, someone took me to the riverside and told me I've got a spiritual husband to disconnect me from the spiritual husband. And the moment she did that, she had told me, suddenly, what did she come for? Her husband had troubled her, he packed his things and left the house and everyone began to become against her. She can't understand what has happened to her life. And the consultation had revealed that there was a violation in her blood. There are many persons today, their problem is as a result of the deliverance that persons, in quotes, had administered to them. We have to understand, understand ourselves deeply such that we will have an idea on how we ourselves, we can carry out processes for ourselves. This is fundamentally the essence of the God which we are teaching here. So today we want to begin the episode of the spiritual element of the earth. The earth element. I've told you that this discourse, you would need a jotter. You would need some writing stuff. You're going to write some of these things down. So that at the end of it, you, would be, you should be able to know where your own fall, where you fall in, what is the element of your bloodline. When I started, I had said it, that not every, some, some persons could be connected to like three, four, two, one, much, much more than one in spiritual element. But you may have one wherein your star is functioning from significantly. So today we are talking about the earth element. The earth element. The element of the earth. There are many features. There are many virtues and features connected to these spiritual family. Those who are connected to, to the earth element. So many persons we may have met may have been may have so much to do with water but there are very few persons who have strong affinity with the earth element very few one of the attributes i want you to write this down one of the attributes of the earth element is spiritual protection spiritual protection these people are deeply protected in spirituality we we call them the Pashangs, people who are grounded spiritually. You can't touch them. There is very few you can do for, to someone or against someone who has a strong connection with the element of the earth. Even 
even whilst you are doing spiritual work for them, there are cases wherein you have to do, redo, redo, undo, undo, before that thing can have effect upon their stars. The security upon their star is very deep. It's too deep. These people are grounded. They are very spiritually protected. Number one is security. Spiritual protection. You can't just touch these people. There are many, as we go through this series, you will see why there are many persons in your family. You have been praying, your village people, you have been praying against them to die. The more you pray, the more they are, ah, the more they are healthy, the more they are strong, the more they are vibrant, and the more they are living long. If you inquire about some of those persons, they have a strong connection with the earth element. Some of the persons you've carried out diverse kinds of things against them. Yet, you can't see the effectiveness of that thing upon their life. You, your primary desire have been that this person is the witch troubling me. This one must die. The more you pray, the more they are alive. There is something about the earth element wherein that individual has been initiated to. Within the bloodline of that fellow, there is a great substance of the earth element. Number two is sincerity. Those who have a strong connection with the earth element would hardly dribble you in life. These are people that no matter what you try to do to them, they can, you can't bend them. You can't you can bend them. They may appear to be people who are stubborn and tough-hearted and strong-hearted. You can't bend them. When they stand upon a thing, as long as that thing, that cause they have stood for is integrity, is honesty, is fairness, and is equity. Nothing, nothing, nothing. They are not easily bought over. They don't compromise easily. Some of them, some of them, they could even do that at the detriment of their lives and their health. Do you, you ask, what is this person benefiting from this, this thing, this thing? There are some of them that you can see them, they are advocates. You have done so many things to pull them down. They are still standing strong. Nothing. They have an element connected to the earth element. Once in a while, God brings some of these persons as the pathfinders, as the advocates for a particular generation. Do whatever you can do against them. The charms, talisman, they, you don't even need to talk about Those ones cannot work on them. The fabrications of, of darkness, of as long as it is divination, it is charm, something you produce from every kind of element. The moment you have anything from the ground, attached to that thing that you have manufactured to be sent against them. No, no, you can't touch them. Especially if they are, what they are fighting for is a just cause. As we go further, you will discover more.